Well, there you have it, folks. Well done. Holy jumpy. It's been a lot of work getting this done. Uh, big chore uh, trying to cut it all and get it over here. Um, I have an area right over there that uh, I cleared out and I've got a nice way to, to transport wood so if I need more in the future I'll definitely uh, be able to get easier access to it. So right behind me I've got about, about a little over a quarter wood. Um, I think that's going to be enough for next winter. I don't think I'll need any more than this. It's all split really small, or not really small, but fairly small, so it should dry, dry well. Um, it's perfectly in the sun, as I, as I hoped when I designed this cabin. I wanted the cabin facing the sun and, and a lot of the elements to be in the sun. Um, so as the sun arcs over every single day, by early morning it's hitting the wood right away. And then by probably late, fall I'll have to tarp it and uh, uh, when it's at its driest point uh, outside of rainfall. Um, what I also did, you probably see it in the background of some of the shots, I took down a handful of spruce trees over there. Um, I'll, I'm going to use as much of it as possible for kindling and, and other types of fires maybe, maybe not fires for in the stove, but uh, what it did do is it opened up the skyline because as the sun cut across, cut it, cutting across right there and what was happening for the last two hours two three hours there'd be like no sunlight on the camp at all and uh, so I wanted more sun because I'm going to be putting another window in here but also to help dry the wood and then also in the winter time if there's more sunlight that means it's warmer in the cabin and so on and so forth but it's been a it's been a lot of work uh, it's very gratifying work rewarding um, backbreaking <laughs> painful, blisters, sore feet, you name it, but it, it totally, I think it's going to be totally worth it. As I was cutting stuff up today in the last few days, I was thinking to myself is like what it would be like to, you know, do this on your own or survive on your own and for any length of time, say a year or so. I think um, without a chainsaw, it, it that makes it extremely difficult. Like bucking up wood with a 21 inch buck saw and especially wood this size uh, would be just weeks of work and I mean granted I mean you'd have more time uh, maybe maybe not depending on your situation but at the end of the day it's just a ton of work even with the chainsaw so I can't imagine what it would have been like back in the day but it, it, I'm sure it was hard hard work and, and it was well appreciated by those who uh, who had to go through it I, I think these things that we do sometimes give us a little a uh, little window glass into the past but not not nearly the amount that we would you know otherwise experience in our lifetimes most likely yeah so I'm very pleased uh, sun's super high it's warm out it's great uh, the nighttime temperatures are, are you know just above zero so it means I can still have a fire in the cabin I'm salvaging uh, as much of the wood as I can I'm picking up wood chips I'm saving the bark um, any splinters are all being saved all little pieces are being broke up into kindling um, I got two bags of kindling over there by the chainsaw I've got dead standing drying out on the lawn uh, you know I'm doing everything I can to be uh, well, doing everything I can to make everything as useful as possible. Uh, one thing that is a pain in the butt to do is sometimes kindling, and I want to have a really good start going into the winter. I got a couple piles right in there, in the backside, some softwood. And uh, yeah, I'm sure I'll get more out of this stuff here. I'll just have to maybe cut some smaller pieces and split it up. But for the most part, I think I'm in great shape. Um, the day is not done yet. I need to go limb some more of that spruce there, which is awful work uh, with the sap. So uh, these gloves have been doing really well. I don't know if you can see that, but it's just they're just peppered in in sap, and it's all sticky and da da da. da. So, anyways, it is what it is. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna keep moseying on. I, I think uh, while the weather's good, you just gotta go with it, and uh, the bugs aren't out, and it's a nice cool breeze but it's not hot hot out so perfect time to be doing this kind of work where it's just you know labor intensive and and then it'll allow me to have room to do all the neat stuff I want to do through the summer so
Yeah, man. Good stuff. Good stuff. Okay, so note to self, if you buy the uh, herbed mushroom risotto, number one, give it a mid-stir around 10 minutes in because it does like to clump up for some reason. And number two, said so I got a little taste test as I did that, and uh, it's looking pretty good. A little bland. Now, everybody knows, or most people know, I like hot sauce. So, not super hot, but hot sauce. So, this is definitely missing spices. So, I'm just going to throw in some salt and pepper to that, and uh, we'll go from there. should help a little bit I would think. Give it a good stir. Much better. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's really good. Yep, just need a little salt. That's all droopy droopy. Bloop, 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 bloop. Yum. All in the name of making a video. Alright, I'm going to sit back and enjoy this, guys. And uh, yeah, and then we'll get back to work and get some of that spruce cleaned up and make her a full day. Talk to you soon. I have steel toe boots. That could have gone really poorly. That's it. I'm pooped. One, two, three, seven logs, and some of them are bigger than I remember. <laughs> and working with that sap is just, oh, it's horrible. It's absolutely horrible. <sighs> well, that's enough for one day. I don't need to buck that up. I, like I said, I can't use the chainsaw anyhow, not today at least. And, and I got a little bit of gas left, so I'll make the count. It's going to go for these logs, and then I'll be, I'll be it. I'll be done, and then... I'll block it and split it, stack it. I got another pallet I can put, to put it on. Color lovely. Uh, another productive day. Uh, another productive day. Uh, it's been a good couple weeks. The weather's finally starting to cooperate. Yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, hit the like button down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to uh, hit the bell button because that's always handy so you know when videos are coming up. And, uh, 
join the Walsh of the Wood Nation and uh, keep uh, keep on watching, keep on enjoying, keep on keeping on, and on.